Welcome to ACC 12. I'm Dr. Andy Martin with CardioSource Video News, and we all know that IT is central to our life, but certainly health IT is not only central now, but will become increasingly important. So I am pleased to be joined now by Dr. Farzad Mustashari, who's the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology. Farzad, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. You know, big subject, a very critical subject. Tell me about what are the goals for the second stage of meaningful use? Well, the goals of stage two are much like stage one. It's a continuation, and the goal is healthcare that is higher quality, safer, more effective, more coordinated, and more patient-centered. There's a particular thing we're pushing on, though, in stage two, which is standards-based information exchange. We've done a lot to increase the adoption of electronic right, health records right. in doctors and hospitals. Now we're saying it's time to share that information. Well, so, so tell me, give me an example. What do you mean by standard-based? So, uh, it's simple stuff like laboratory results, making okay. it easy for laboratories to report to physician right. offices so they have that electronic information available so that those LDL levels, so those not, A1Cs yeah, and, and, are and, and, there. Yeah, and I'm not looking for the potassium levels or stuff like that. Or it's having excellent. your clerical staff type it in or scan in the images. But it's also sharing information when people transition from care centers. So Critical. So yeah. discharge from the hospital, the primary care provider, cardiologists should be able to get that information from that hospitalization stay electronically into their record. Oh, that's fabulous. Uh, and uh, you know, n another question I have here is that in what ways are, is it being easier for the subspecialist to really yeah. meet these meaningful yeah. use standards? Yeah, we heard a lot from specialists after stage one. We heard a lot and I we listened. You did. I bet you and did. we listened. Uh, and we've, uh, we've taken steps to try to uh, reflect our experience in stage one and making certain things more relevant for specialists and more flexible. So uh, we heard from specialists that the quality measures in stage one didn't reflect the full scope of their practice. Okay. So we've added quality measures relevant to, in the proposed rule, relevant to more uh, specialists. We heard from them that there are some things that they did which weren't in, which were meaningful for them, which right. were not in the rule. So being able to view images, it may not be relevant for every provider, but for some specialists, no, it. it's yeah. really important. So we included that in our proposal as being an optional meaningful use criteria. And this was, the ACC uh, uh, cardiologists will be happy to hear this, reporting to national registries we included. Many specialties uh, have their national registries that do great things. Sure. Uh, we enabled that uh, to be one of the, the meaningful use requirements. And then for some specialties who for whom it's really, some of the measures were not relevant, we provided for easier scope of practice exclusions from certain requirements. Do you, do you think, and it sounds like, and it, and it, you know, my compliments that you really listened, do you think that this will make more CV specialists participate in this? Uh, it, it is our hope. Actually, cardiovascular specialists are among the leaders. We've had over 2,500 already paid for meaningful use, over $50 million. Uh, cardiologists are leading the way for the other specialties, but we have a, we have a challenge out to the, with the ACC to have 8,000 cardiologists by the end of this year, 2012. It's going to be a big lift, but I think together we can do it. Oh, that's fabulous. Uh, well, last thing I'd ask you, or not the last, but the thing I'd ask you is the uh, question about electronic health record, its implementation, the, and, and the initiative, the Million Heart Campaign. How, how do you see those two playing together? We love Million Hearts because it makes clear that the goal of health IT is not the technology, the goal is to save lives. The goal is to Absolutely. have care that's safer and higher quality. So Million Hearts gives us a very clear target. It says, if we want to save a million heart attacks and strokes, what does healthcare have to do? We have to control blood pressure better with the ABCs, right? right Aspirin, absolutely. blood pressure, absolutely. cholesterol, absolutely. smoking. Absolutely. So meaningful use and health IT can be servants in service of those goals. It's quality measurement, it's decision support, it's being able to make a list of patients and send them reminders, and it's having the basic data collected. What's the blood pressure in a standard structured way? What's the smoking status? What are the problems? What are the med lists? So all that is in meaningful use. Well, I mean, it's fabulous. I mean, when I think about my career in practicing medicine, to have all that available and not have to go through it. And it, and it will make, I mean, I like where you're going. It'll make a major difference in the patient's health. Yes. And that's really, so as I really appreciate you joining us and I compliment you on what you're doing and thanks for the partnership with the ACC. We appreciate it. Thank thanks you so very much. much. And Let's thanks, thanks to each of you for watching. You want to say one other thing? I was going to say thank you for making meaningful use meaningful. Good. Excellent. We'll end on that. Thanks for watching.